Welcome to today's episode of Let's Talk Retention, where we speak to founders and founding team members of early stage startup about their businesses and their growth and retention strategy. Hi, I'm Abhinay Jain, Director of Product-Led Growth at CleverTap, world's number one retention cloud. We started this podcast to bring bridge a gap that we saw that you know early stage businesses are very different from uh, scale businesses. In scale businesses, you have enough resources, capital, so many things, right? But the strategy becomes very difficult when you have to do a lot more in a limited time. And uh, that's what startups are all about and early stage business. That's why it, it, it's so exciting. And to talk about the challenges as well as the story about a very tough problem that ChefCart is solving in India. Uh, we have with us Webhav Gupta, who's the founder of ChefCart. Uh, welcome to podcast, uh, Webhav. How are you doing today? Thank you so much, Abhinay, for inviting me for the podcast. So to be very honest, it's my first podcast. So uh, <clears throat> equally excited uh, for doing this. Uh, and in general, like I said, I am based out of Gurgaon. Uh, and like you said, I'm one of the co-founders and CEO at ChefCart. So let's start first, uh, Webhav, about, you know, what made you start ChefCart? What does it do? Who, who are the founders? What's the founding team like? Right. Let's start from there. So I think let's start with the team. Uh, so, uh, or maybe the idea on why we started ChefCart, right? So, personally, I'm a cooking enthusiast myself, right? Nice. Uh, I've been cooking uh, like in college, then in my first job as well. So I was in Pune working with ZS Associates. So in my office, I used to get lunch and dinner. But uh, on the weekends, I used to cook myself uh, again with the friends and it always worked as a therapy for me and it works as a therapy for a lot of people. Right? So I enjoyed cooking. Uh, that joy, uh, you know, that came from when people actually uh, give you praises. Right? So that yeah. used to give me joy and happiness. And I think uh, that was one of the reasons why I wanted to build something in that space. Another reason was I previously built one more startup when I was in college called Trees. Right. Uh, so okay. what we were doing was modernizing the laundry experience for campus students. So yes. thoroughly enjoyed building everything from the scratch. And I think that thing always stayed with me. Yeah, nahi kuch banana hai, fir se, right? uh, so Correct. after campus, like I said, started working with ZS Associates, then came to Gurgaon, started working with American Express in the product and marketing <coughs> department. Right. And I think uh, after working three years in the corporate, got bored of the job. Uh, like all the founders do, right? Uh, got bored of it, thought, what is this problem that we can solve at scale, right? So, interesting thing, uh, like I said, uh, I was living away from home all this, right? Uh, uh, I actually belong from Malwa, Rajasthan, uh, which is right. like 120 kilometers from Gurgaon. But used to stay alone with my flatmates, so had to hire a cook to solve for the daily meals, right? So, there were some challenges in the beginning. First and foremost was around finding a good cook, right? Uh, there, was no, there is no online marketplace. The only way how people find cooks today is either by asking the security guards or asking your neighbors, right? So, this is what people do. But there is no truth of information around who you, whom you are hiring, what is the skill set of the person, right? Everything is missing. So, that was the first problem. Then, uh, after a few months came problems around their unprofessionalism, right? So these cooks uh, that you hire locally, right, or, uh, from your security guards or from your society uh, apartment, these people take unannounced leaves, right? Uh, they don't know what hospitality is, right? How they should talk to the customer, how they should take care of your taste preferences or the food preferences, right? So all of those things are missing and ultimately leading to a bad customer experience. So I think uh, this was enough motivation for me to start ChefCut. And interestingly, like this problem was there in my mind for at least one and a half years, uh, I was always looking for a co-founder, right? And okay. then that's when I met Arpit. So yeah, between you and Arpit, uh, you have uh, roles divided, like you take care of business, you take care of technology. How is it uh, split between right. two? Okay. So, uh, sorry, I think I missed some part of the story. So we are yeah. three co-founders actually. So okay. we were later joined by uh, Aman, so who is also okay. a batchmate from IIT Kharagpur. And mm -hmm. he joined us as co-founder and CTO in March of okay. 2021. So almost nice. eight, nine months later, uh, right? Right. Akpit used to take care of operations. So he handles the entire operations and I take care of marketing, finance, HR, investor relations. So everything business and corporate side. Got it. Great. In fact, you know, that's one thing uh, I would like to, uh, it would be great if you can tell us a little more about the team size or give some ideas so that, you know, people can understand how 
uh, at what scale you are, whatever publicly available data you have, right? Uh, also in terms of team size or maybe for marketing product or growth, how many team members you have, do we have just one person managing? That will actually give a good idea that you know, at this scale, what's the structure you have. So uh, if I talk about the current state of the business, so we are uh, providing all these services in Delhi and CR region, right? So that mm -hmm. covers Gurgaon, Delhi, few pockets of Delhi and Noida, right? right. In terms of team size, so we are around 75 people. Right, uh, around 20 people in product and tech combined, around okay. four or five people in marketing, uh, mm -hmm. and then around 45 people in your uh, operations, oh, right? operations. And five, six people in your HR, finance, and admin. Now we come to the other part, right? Now you have customer retention, you have your chef retention, right? Which one is more challenging and why? So, uh, then I would say both of them are equally challenging. So mm -hmm. think of it like this. On the chef side, it's a forced attrition, right? As a platform, mm -hmm. you have to maintain the sanity of the chefs, right? The quality of the chefs. So if right. you see that someone is not, you know, performing up to the mark or as per the expectations, then you have to forcefully attract them of the platform. So now as a platform, uh, uh, we have to make sure that we are giving them enough training opportunities or upskilling opportunities because these are the segment of people who never got a chance to upskill themselves or to learn what hospitality is or what, how to retain a customer for the longest of duration, right? So right. Uh, ultimately, I think it is our responsibility to teach the chefs and teaching them is again a behavioral change that we are asking uh, for, right? Which takes longer. So oh. when we started ChefCut, uh, I think we are the first one to provide subscription-based services. Uh, we could not find uh, any other player or any other home service who was providing subscription-based services, uh, which had so high of a touch point with customers. So we had no uh, uh, playbook to follow or replicate, right? So it was very difficult to come up with perfect offerings. Right, uh, retention strategies, what will work, what will not work. So we were, we were always iterating because ultimately mm -hmm. it's the customer who is paying you, right? So, yeah. and as a platform, uh, what we always type for is ki, no matter, uh, like maybe customer is not happy with the ship, but they should always be happy with the platform. They should be uh, taking another cook, if not the same cook, right? So I mm -hmm. think uh, this is what we always struggle between care. Hum apne platform ke saath wo retention bada hai ya ek cook or customer ka relationship uh, strong. Correct. Right? And okay. then there are also challenges ki agar wo relationship itna strong ho gaya, toh why would they need chef card in between? Right. So we mm -hmm. have to take care of so many things. Ki uh, uh, chef ko bhi retain karna hai, chef ko value add bhi aapko batana hai ki the commission that we are charging as a platform, right? Uh, it should be justified to the chef also and to the customer also. Right. Because right. otherwise, at least one of them would start disintermediating you. Ki ar, nahi, aap directly, uh, uh, hire karlo, mujhko, ya, customer bolega, aap directly kaam karlo, mere. My next question is, what is the best channel through which you communicate with your customers and with your chefs? As in, uh, what channel works the best for you? Uh, when I say channel, it can be SMS, it can be email, whichever way, right? So what's the best channel for your type of customers? So I think over time we have experimented with man many channels, right? So when we started, it was purely WhatsApp, right? Okay. Uh, we used to communicate on WhatsApp. Then came an app, right? Uh, mm -hmm. Through which we used to communicate. People used to, uh, uh, what do you call it? Like, so call was always there. WhatsApp was there, right? Then we built an in-app chat system, right? Uh, so mm -hmm. then ticketing system, we have app that the user can uh, create their own tickets. So I think of all the, uh, and at point at a point in time, we had four different channels that we communicate with the customer. And there we realized that it is too many channels to handle, right? Correct. So ultimately, we cut it down only to chat on app and mm -hmm. then one-way communication on WhatsApp. Then in like we okay. have communication, but we will not reply to whatever message you will send us, right? Uh, if, you, awesome. if customers want a resolution or a query or if there's an escalation, you come through our chat, which okay. is on our so I like the experiment, like you mentioned, like you experiment with multiple channels and then figure out that this is one channel, then you had way too many, and then you narrow it down to two channels. Are there any other ex experiments that you could think of, let's say, you know, anything uh, like, you know, how did you acquire your, how do you acquire your first hundred users? Once you have, uh, you know, let's say thousand users, then what do you do? Do you do something differently? Um, 
on those lines do you have some experiments or some 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 stories to share I remember when we started chef cut right and it was uh, very early days uh, when we were mm-hmm. a big people people like me and arpit and two more employees so to acquire users uh, we used to create posts on facebook flat and flatmates group right uh, oh so nice specifically used to put ki there is a cook who is looking for work can prepare so many dishes or cuisines if you are looking to have in this area reach out to us so wahan se we started acquiring a service that was one channel uh, the second was uh, we used to go on ground right so we used to talk okay. to security guards ki yaar aapke paas to already customers aate hain right to aap unko tag sabko de do or tell them about chef cart and if the customer gets converted we'll give you a referral money right so us type ke channels humne use kiye and then again like jo customer ek bar aa jata tha unse hum word of mouth we used to ask them to post in uh, their whatsapp group society kyunki every society has a whatsapp group right correct a correct communication uh, platform to wahan pe hum post karwate the unse so i think uh, we did all these activities to acquire our first 100 users to mm-hmm. retain them of course uh, uh, personally we used to handle uh, each and every customer us time pe to and uh, in terms of experiments to retain users to have uh, like i said we took a lot of iterations we did lot of experiments some were successful some were not of course uh, so in terms of the successful experiments i would say uh, so one was adding some value added services in the subscription so earlier the subscription was very plain and plain and simple right you come on the platform you submit your requirements you get a cook the cook will come on a day, daily basis right if only two days leaves are allowed in the subscription which a cook can take if it goes beyond that then we extend your subscription this was okay. one simple uh, subscription that used to say then we started doing temporary replacement so let's say if the cook is not coming if there are extra leaves then either you can ask for an extension or you can get a replacement for that day so Very then we introduced the kitchen cleaning service and we bundled it in the subscription ki via hmm. subscription then in the second renewal month right you get one free kitchen deep cleaning service right jisme nice. aapko someone else will come and will deep clean your kitchen then um, we also introduce one more service which is star chef so we call it star chef so let's say if you are hosting a party right uh, and matlab especially in gurgaon is a place where most of the people do house parties right correct, correct. Uh, they don't go, they don't prefer to go out to humne kya bola hai agar aap kabhi party kar rahe ho if you ever get together then we'll give you one complimentary star chef also right ki someone else will come a proper chef with a plain chef coat will come there is a separate menu from which they can choose from and will give you a hotel like experience or a restaurant like experience at your home right to wo logo ko kaafi acha laga it improved our retention right uh i'll just quickly you know ask one more thing in terms of data and analytics right how many of how how do you look at this experiments is there some kind of learning right that let's say the kpis when you started you were just looking at three kpis let's say right a number of subscriptions a day whatever it is right or did you start with a lot of kpis to follow or, and then just narrow it down to few how did the whole analytics dashboarding kpis uh, you know evolve right so uh, i think when we started we uh, we did the wrong thing and we picked a lot of kpis to track at an org level right uh, okay and, and i think uh, everyone knows the nuances of it when you pick a lot of kpis then you're focusing everywhere and then nothing moves so mm-hmm. eventually with time we created our tree like structure ki acha aur ke liye these three things matter theek hai then of course for different teams there will be different kpis and then for agents within those teams there will be different kpis for example support right support yeah. mein what matters is har ek agent ka csat kya hai right how many correct they solving and us uh, mm-hmm. type ki matrix honi chahiye first is comes time etc support team level pe it should be yeah what is the service level in terms of picking the calls or you know mm-hmm. uh, responding or solving tickets Correct. then all level pe it should be nps because mm-hmm. right so i think eventually abhi bhi main nahi bolunga ki 100% there right uh, yeah, but yeah. we have narrowed it down ki all may will just track kiya revenue kitna hum generate kar pa rahe hain nps kya hai and how many new users we are able to cater to or provide any of the services So when we started, it was only subscription service for us. But very recently, mm-hmm. we also launched our on-demand services, wherein you can book a chef for party, you can book a chef for normal cooking. So let's say you you already have a cook, right? Uh, but your cook is not coming. So right. earlier in the subscription offering, me I'll wait for the customer to come and get a subscription from me. But okay. now let's say you already have a cook, your cook is not coming, you come and get a one meal service from me. 
So this is in the subscription and on-demand services. Uh, since it's fairly new, so one number we are tracking is how many bookings a user is doing within a month. So right mm-hmm. now we see around thirty percent repeat rate. If okay. agar hundred uh, people are trying, then thirty would try again in the same month, right? So this is what we have observed so far. Got it. So one of the insight that I get is you started with a lot of KPIs and then narrowed down. Also made it. team wise that these team. are the kpis that matter at a top level these are the kpis that matter at a function level so right. that that's very helpful and uh, probably before we move to the next section uh, webo just one thing uh, is there any any mistake not necessarily for from retention or you know probably you have, you have already run it for almost 3 years now right so uh, is there a mistake that you you kind of feel that hey i should have done this differently maybe in the first couple of years when you are just starting up yes yeah, so overall in business one thing we started automating very late is uh, the match making bit right okay uh, matlab for a longest time we were relying on uh, allocating work on manually call kar kar ke ya whatsapp pe kar kar ke right while it should be the first thing that we should have built ki yeah, matlab customers okay. aa rahe hain yeah, match making should have been very strong last question or last uh, you know section is there a message or something that you would say to early stage founders about acquisition retention the way they think about it any message that you would like to give sure sir uh, i think uh, often times uh, when we are building startup right uh, we get carried away by a metric called growth right and humko jab bhi growth dikhta hai we always think yaar acquire more and more users right but very rarely we start focusing on retention but i feel mm-hmm. if we start building in a manner where retention is the highest right 90% 95% then automatically you will get new users also and then you have built a business uh, which is fundamentally very strong right correct so uh, if i have to summarize it then i would say retention is the new acquisition for a lot of companies for a startup like chefcart everything is retention right because it's a yeah. service wherein people continuously need it right so True. if i solve retention then uh, imagine there is a user who is for 12 months with me who is already telling about chef cart at lunch table to their colleagues to their family friends right Correct. so automatically word of mouth badh raha hai aise ek chef hai mere paas jo jitna zyada mere sath rahega wo utne hi zyada users leke aayega so it will True. solve both acquisition and retention for me so i think uh, that is a message uh, ki retention pe focus karna chahiye and that is when we will build the business fundamentally right nice very nice uh, let's focus on retention retention is the no new growth lever that we need to focus on that's always there that has always been there and uh, i believe um, uh, this conversation brought you know gave some insights which made it very clear that you know you need to retain if you are going to go for a referral route right first nps will come nps level the moment your nps scores go high then referrals start on both supply side and uh, as well as you know demand side so that's fantastic uh, web hub it was fantastic talking to you uh, you know and getting to know about chef cart for those of you who are listening to this episode if you want if you are in delhi ncr the service is already live you can go on chefcart.com as uh, and if you are outside i'm pretty sure you'll be expanding to other cities very soon Chefcart.com and we have mobile app available on Android or Play Store. Uh, sorry, App Store and Play Store. Nice. Okay, thanks, thanks, Swabo. Uh, have a great day. All the best with Chefcart for inviting. Uh, thoroughly enjoyed our conversation. And we <laughs> also use Clever Tap, uh, by the way. So <laughs> yeah, we, yeah. Uh, yeah. We more and more channels we are adding there. Uh, WhatsApp integrated kara hai abhi humne recently. Right. I think it is a helpful tool for startups. 
true true great it's it's a pleasure uh, you know talking to you it's pleasure talking to startup founders early stage is very different it's very challenging but at the same time it's so much fun you know the moment <laughs> companies scale up they say that you know that was the time when we had just five employees 10 employees we were a small team so uh, you know those of you who are in a, in that journey uh, enjoy the journey but yes try to learn from the mistakes start with data from day zero have your data center ready uh, work on retention when you work on your growth try to you know, plug in growth through retention. And yes, we'll keep bringing more, more and more stories. Thanks, Webhub, for today. We'll come with the next episode very soon.